Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this seminar on evolutionary nutrition. My name is Madhvi Chanrai, and I'm going to do a short introduction. First of all, thank you all for coming, and a special thank you to a couple of friends who I think would rather have gone straight for a drink after work on a Friday evening than have to sit through an extended version of what I've been ranting on about for the last few years. To those of you who didn't need a bit of arm twisting to end this seminar, I'm assuming that you are here because it is becoming increasingly apparent that the official dietary guidelines have repeatedly got a few things wrong over the last few 50 years. And why am I here? Well, I'm here because I feel passionately about life and also about helping people improve their lives. And as there are now indications that we can eliminate most Western diseases with a few simple dietary changes, Let's make these changes known to the 7 billion people on this planet. Some of you might say that as we are all living longer than ever, do we really need meetings like this one? Can't we just sit back comfortably in our chairs and follow the recent upward trajectory of lifespan? Well, my concern is not only about increasing longevity, but more about improving the quality of our lives. What's the point of living to 100 if you're demented, need full-time care, and can't recognize your nearest and dearest for the last few years of your life? Or if one were to think of diabetes as a country, at 208 million, it would be the fifth most populous country in the world. So if altering one's diet can abolish one's risk for acquiring diseases like diabetes, then why not do it? In recent years, we have seen a sea change in dietary ideas. To me, it feels as if we are on the verge of a dietary revolution. Just as the discovery of the link between smoking and lung cancer was a groundbreaking time, so too now is the link between the Paleolithic diet and the absence of Western disease. Since the early 70s, I have read up on and tried out just about every popular and even unpopular diet that has been published, from Atkins and intermittent fasting as a teenager to vegetarianism in my 20s. But I had my big dietary aha moment only three years ago whilst reading Stefan Lindeberg's book, Food and Western Disease. One of the chapters in this book is about the Kitava study that Stefan conducted in 1989. His remarkable findings were that not a single one of the Kitava islanders suffered from cardiovascular disease, dementia, or lung cancer, despite 75% of them being smokers. Quite an astounding statistic and it almost had me reaching for a cigarette. <laughs> Just as I was inspired by Professor, Lan Professor Stefan Lindbergh's book, I hope you will be too by the man himself and his extremely knowledgeable and erudite doctorate studi students, Pedro Carrera Vastos and Mylan Fontes Villalba. I'm hoping they will all convince you to go back to a very old way of eating. <laughs> 